bright beauty every student matters hello students my name is sanjay jain in this chapter on triangles we would have noticed certain things let me list those things here before starting this exercise here because if you if you have understood those things carefully then this exercise is very very simple for you number 1 if let us say you have got two points let us say this is point a this is point b and i join these points now i am looking for points which are equidistant from a and b okay so some somebody would say that the midpoint of this segment will be equidistant from these two so yes you are correct but give me any other point which is not on this line and is equidistant from a and b so you will notice that if i draw perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector of this line ab then every point on this line will be equidistant from a and b why do i say so i have taken this midpoint as p let me take any general point on this line which is perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector of ab let me take any point let us say this is p1 now if you join a with p1 and b with p1 see we have taken this line as perpendicular bisector so this segment ap is equal to segment pb right this line is a common line in these two triangles and this angle is 90 degrees in both these triangles so these two triangles will be congruent by side angle side congruency criteria right and if these are congruent then corresponding parts of congruent triangles will be equal hence the side opposite to 90 degrees will be equal in both these triangles so this side is equal to this what does it mean that the distance ap1 is equal to distance bp1 and this point is equidistant from a and b for that matter you take any point on this line anywhere on this line let us take this as p2 when you join p2 with b and a with p2 you will see that these two triangles are congruent triangles by side angle side again these two sides are equal this is a common side between these two triangles right and these two angles are 90 degrees each so by side angle side congruency rule these two triangles are also congruent and by cpct we can say that p2a is equal to p2b now in brief what i can say is that every point on this perpendicular bisector is equidistant from a and b okay or if i can say it other way round that if you want to find all the points which are equidistant from a and b the line or collection of those points will be the perpendicular bisector of segment ab i hope you have got the idea by now right so if i say that this is a line segment pq and this is a perpendicular bisector right so i can say that any point on this is equidistant from p and q so these are also equal these are equal any point on this line anywhere so these distances are equal okay i hope you have got the idea now let us look at another thing let us say you have got two rays like this and this is an angle okay so now if you draw the angle bisector let us say this is the angle bisector of this angle now this is the angle bisector so this angle here will be equal to this angle right this line is angle bisector of this angle right which i have shown you here this angle right now if this is theta this will also be theta now you take any point on this angular bisector any point let us take this point as p1 this point as p2 or any other point that you like p3 okay 
now distance of this point p1 from this arm and this arm will be equal how how do we see the distance by drawing a perpendicular to the line from this point and by drawing a perpendicular to this line from this point so we are considering these two distances why would they be equal look at it this angle is 90 degree this angle is also 90 degrees right this angle is theta this angle is theta why because this line is angular bisector so two angles are equal that means the third angle is also equal so if it is alpha this will also be alpha now all angles of these two triangles are equal and one side is common this side is common in both these triangles so by angle side angle congruency criteria these two triangles are congruent hence by cpct this side will be equal to this side because these are opposite theta so this distance will be equal to this distance so any point let us take p2 if you drop a perpendicular here and draw a perpendicular on this side by again the same logic these two triangles now this time this one and this one these two triangles will be congruent hence this distance here will be equal to this distance so any point on the angular bisector is equidistant from the arms of the angle right so these are two things and uh, if you want to rephrase it if you if you want to find points which are equidistant from two arms of an angle then you will find those point on the angular bisector of that angle okay so the collection of points which are equidistant from these two arms is angular bisector right i hope you have understood these two concepts now let me start the exercise then i will tell you what is the use of these concepts abc is a triangle locate a point in the interior of triangle abc which is equidistant from all the vertices of triangle abc this is triangle abc we need to locate a point in the interior which is equidistant from all the vertices so first thing if i want a point which is equidistant from these two vertices b and c where would i find the, that point on the perpendicular bisector of line bc right so i will draw a perpendicular bisector and now i can say every point on this line on this perpendicular bisector is equidistant from b and c right now that point should be equidistant from a and b also right and a and c also so any point which is equidistant from a and b will lie on the perpendicular bisector of ab so let me draw a perpendicular bisector of ab right now look at this point this point is on this line as well as on this line so this point will be equidistant from a and b this point will also be equidistant from b and c hence it will be equidistant from a b and c so if i join a b and c with this point these three distances let me mark it by four bars these three distances will be equal to each other right if i name it as o then i can say oa will be equal to ob will be equal to oc and this gives you another idea that if you take this point o as center and oa as radius or ob as radius or oc as radius because all these are same let me name them as r if you take r as radius and o as center and draw a circle it will pass through these three points a b and c okay so first thing locate a point in the interior of triangle abc i can say that this is the point o which is equidistant from a b and c how did i locate it 
it is the point of intersection of perpendicular bisectors of any two sides or if even if you draw the third perpendicular bisector it will also pass through this point right number 1 second what is this point called this point is known as circumcenter and what is this circle known as circum circle right and this radius r is known as circum radius I hope you have got the fair idea about this question. Now, in a triangle, locate a point in its interior which is equidistant from all the sides of a triangle. So, what I am looking for here is, let us say, let us talk about these two sides, AB and BC. AB and BC. If I want to locate a point which is equidistant from these two sides, I'll have to look for the point. on angular bisector of the angle between these two sides right because every point on this angular bisector this is angular bisector so this is equal to this right so every point on this angular bisector will be equidistant from ab and bc this is one thing now that point should also be equidistant from bc and ac right it should be equidistant from all the sides so now let us consider this side and this side so any point equidistant from these two sides will lie on angular bisector of the angle between them right and now consider this point this point lies on angular bisector of angle b as well as it lies on angular bisector of angle c also so this point is equidistant from bc and ab and this point is also equidistant from ac and bc that is this distance is equal to this distance and this distance is equal to this distance right now if you take this point as center and this as your radius because these three distances are equal then you can draw a circle which touches all the sides of this triangle abc and such a circle is known as in circle obviously this radius is known as in radius and the point that we were looking for which is equidistant from all the sides is this point which is known as in center right so how would you locate a point which is equidistant from the three vertices of a triangle you will draw two angular bisectors of any two angles and the point of intersection of those angular bisectors will be the point which is equidistant from vertices and that point is in center of the in circle which touches all the sides okay in a huge park people are concentrated at three points let us say these are the points a b and c a where there are different slides and swings for children okay b near which a man made la lake is situated c which is near to a large parking and exit so these are the three points where people are concentrated where should an ice cream parlor be set up so that maximum number of pe people or maximum number of persons can approach it obviously this ice cream parlor should be equidistant equidistant from points a b and c now let me complete this triangle a b c now you would be able to understand this question better now it is a triangle a b c and if you want to find a point which is equidistant from a b and c we just did in this lecture itself that we will draw perpendicular bisector of bc and perpendicular bisector of any other line and the point of intersection of these perpendicular bisectors these are perpendicular bisectors right and this point is the point of intersection of perpendicular bisectors and it is equidistant from 
point A, point B and point C. So this is the point where ice cream parlor should be set up so that everyone whether they are on A, they are standing on B, they are at this point C, they can approach this easily, right? equally easily. All right. So the ice cream parlor should be set up at the circum center okay, as we have studied in our first question. All right. This chapter is clear to you. Right. Now in the next chapter, we will study about quadrilaterals. Thank you.